hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. I hope you like what you hear and see. And if you're returning, welcome back, guys. Love you. So this is going to be a super quick weekly wrap up because, um, yeah, this is this is the main major project that I did this week. I did get the Oraloa done, as probably most of you know. The full review is up on the channel, um, and I go into a lot of detail about uh, all the things of this canvas, so I'm not going to go into all of that now. I just pulled it out because it's so beautiful. Yes. Um, so we have that one, and then the only other thing that I was able to do this week is I did work on my Heaven and Earth designs a little bit. Um, I did this section here and I looked at it and I, I rolled the canvas up and I kind of have put a little crease here, but once it's framed, it'll be fine. Um, I have, so I've been doing, if you're new to my channel, this is my weekly wrap up and I just go through all the things I was able to accomplish over a week's time. And I'm, I've am i been consistently, I think, recording and then posting this on Monday mornings and or afternoons. So I worked last night. I, this was, this past weekend was my weekend to work. So I worked uh, Saturday and Sunday evening into this morning and I slept until one o'clock. So um, you guys are getting this a little later. But um, this is my Heaven and Earth Designs, so it is a blank canvas. I am doing a cross-stitch conversion, so I'm converting a cross-stitch chart onto diamond painting. And this is my Iris Story Keep. And so it is a bookmarker. If I were to cross-stitch this, it would just be the size of a bookmarker. So it comes out to this... But I think a very cool size panel in diamond painting. And so I did look to see how much I had left. And obviously, I the way I've been diamond painting this is I've been doing three 10 by 10 squares down, one 10 by 10 square across. And I've been doing that um, for each session. And I look to see how much I have left. And I have basically, I'm just gonna remove these and I'll show you guys. I basically have the whole canvas up until this bottom blue line. So those two down there are extras. So I have I'll put the release paper over that line like that. So I have all of that left to do. So I have these two to finish this row and then one, two, three across and then one, two, three across and then one more row. And honestly, this is gonna be done for you guys next week. Yes, and when I finish this, I can prep my Next mystery painting, it is already out. It's been out staring me in the face, mocking me. So we will kit that up. But this will be done for you guys. And then um, I already pulled out my Mary's diamonds. So now that the Oralo is done, you'll be getting a kitten chat with this one. I can't wait. I don't know. I'm becoming on one of those people. I just love kitting up. I love, love kidding up and just diving into a new project and getting my hands on all the drills. So excited, yes. Okay, so that's all um, other than the Oraloa. That is all I was able to get done. I still have not worked on this. I'm hoping that I get all of this done quick enough to be able to get some rows down on this one. Um, this is Where the Fun Never Ends by Diamond Art Club. It is a round and it is super long. 
This is how long it is. Oh, sorry. And we keep going. And we keep going over the coffee cup, under the bridge, past the mountains. There we go. That's how long it is. And here's the cover sheet. Like I said, I just keep that rolled up underneath. And I keep it rolled up like this, guys. I hang it up like this. Yeah, it just makes this so much easier to manage with these clips. They're called, I think they're called duck bill clips. So I'll put a link down below. Um, I got them from Amazon. And again, if you click on any Amazon links, it will, I am an Amazon associate or affiliate as a lot of people know them. And it will give me a small commission if you click on one of the Amazon links that I post and purchase anything. But that's how I keep my canvas. That's how I hang it up. And then here we have my blanket. And I did, um, I posted about this on my Facebook group as well as my Instagram. I did have to go somewhere this week where I did have some downtime. Um at the facility and I was planning to do this blanket, but I, I didn't bring the hook. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that always the case? So I usually had the hook like, you know, weaved into the blanket part, but it was not in there. So when I was packing to go, I literally just grabbed this, like fold it up and threw it in my bag. And then when I got there, I realized there was no hook. So I only did, I think I was here, this one little row, this one little dark green row. That's it, half a row. Um, luckily, I did pack Iris, my um, Heaven and Earth Designs. She's like so small. And where I was waiting, they had a whole setup against a window and sunlight. And so I was able to pull her out and that's how I got some of her done. So, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, so keep your eyes out for a kitten chat. We're gonna do that with this canvas, the Yin Yang Koi from Mary's Diamonds. Really excited to start on this one. And then um, my goal is to get her done and get some drills down on this canvas because we didn't do anything last week. And we only got one done the week prior, so we'll get some movement on this canvas as well. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out, and if you wanna see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. Next week, I'm bringing you another finish, guys. I'm in it to win it. All right, you guys take care. Keep diamond painting.